Good morning, children. It's Karen Lee coming to you from my living room in South Berwick for Karen Reads. Uh, we have a great book this morning. My Little Sister Ate One Hair by Bill Grossman, illustrated by Kevin Hawks. A word to you about the writer and the illustrator. Bill Grossman, the writer, has done a lot of different things in his life. Before he started doing children's books, he was a grave digger, a forklift operator, a computer engineer, and a third grade teacher. And he now, he continues to write children's books, but he's also a professor of engineering, and he lives in Connecticut, so he lives close to us. Kevin Hawks, the illustrator, lives very close to us in Portland, Maine, and he's had a very interesting life. He grew up in France. There was always art and music going on in his house, and there still is now in his house in Portland, Maine with his wife and his children, constantly projects. So Google them, go look them up. Bill Grossman, G-R-O-S-S-M-A-N, and Kevin Hawks, H-A-W-K-E-S. They have very interesting lives. You will enjoy looking them up. All right. My little sister ate one hair. And hair, in this case, means rabbit. My little sister ate one hair. We thought she'd throw up then and there, but she didn't. You can see the narrator's little sister dressed up as a performer and she's on a stage and she'll stay on that stage throughout the whole book performing her magic feats. I was in changing costumes. My little sister ate two snakes. She ate two snakes for heaven's sakes. She ate two snakes. She ate one hair. We thought she'd throw, throw up then and there, but she didn't. My little sister ate three ants. She even ate their underpants. She ate two snakes. She ate one hair. We thought she'd throw up then and there, but she didn't. My little sister ate four shrews. She ate their smelly socks and shoes. She ate three ants, two snakes, one hair. We thought she'd throw up then and there, but she didn't. And you can see the shrews marching down her pirate's sword and into her mouth. She's dressed up as a pirate in this illustration. My little sister ate five bats. She ate their coats and ties and hats. Four shoes, shoes three ants, two snakes, one hair. We thought she'd throw up then and there, but she didn't. My little sister ate six mice then spit them out and ate them twice. 
She ate five bats, four sh shrews, three ants. She even ate their underpants. She ate two snakes. She ate one hair. We thought she'd throw up then and there, but she didn't. My little sister captured seven pollywogs and ate them as they turned to frogs. She ate six mice, five bats, four shrews. She ate their smelly socks and shoes. She ate three ants, two snakes, one hare. We thought she'd throw up then and there, but she didn't. You can see the polywogs turning into frogs. My little sister ate eight worms. She ate those worms with all their germs. She captured seven pollywogs and ate them as they turned to frogs. She ate six mice. She ate five bats. She ate their coats and ties and hats. Four shrews, three ants, two snakes, one hare. We thought she'd throw up then and there, but she didn't. My little sister ate nine lizards. She ate their heads and legs and gizzards. My little sister ate eight worms. She ate those worms with all their germs and seven pollywogs, six mice. She spit them out and ate them twice. Five bats, four shrews, three ants, two snakes. She ate two snakes for heaven's sakes. And of course, she ate one hair. We thought she'd throw up then and there, but she didn't. There go the lizards and their gizzards. My little sister ate 10 peas, but eating healthy foods like these makes my sister sick, I guess. The little sister looks pretty unsure about what she's doing. Makes my little sister sick, I guess. Oh my goodness, what a mess. And you can see that th the 10 peas got to her. She threw up everything she had swallowed previously. She, she finally threw up. So we counted to 10 in just a really uh, ridiculous way. And I hope it made you, made you giggle. I'm taping this on a Tuesday and the sun is out. It's gorgeous. And yesterday, Monday, was gorgeous too. I hope you get outside and take a long walk or do some kind of fun play.